Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome back to Loser the Lambo. I would love to say happy Wednesday because I release a new video every Wednesday, but there's a problem. This Wednesday, I will not be able to release a video. And there's a very good reason for that, and that's that I'll be in the hospital. So, for any of you who've been watching since the very first video, I did mention that my back was a mess. Uh, let me kind of try to demonstrate, show you what's up with that. So my back moves a little different than everyone else's back. Most people's. So my spine, instead of being in a nice row like this, okay, so I have things from arm wrestling, uh, tools I've made. Anyway, um, just trying to demo this. So if I'm facing this way, my upper spine is actually moved, instead of being in a nice line like this, my upper spine is moved into my body and down. Okay, so there's a mess of vertebrae in there. Things moved in all kinds of bad places. And yeah, my back moves, my spine moves kind of like this. And sometimes I can get it to squish up like here and then it'll just collapse down again and move like this. Not awesome. Okay, what happened? Eight and a half years ago-ish, I was working in a big factory. Uh, there was someone from another department and a new guy and he was operating the hoist and she didn't know she was doing the blocking and they're lowering this like thousand pound steel part of frame onto some blocking it slipped off uh he didn't know what he was doing with the hoist it landed on her hand and she screamed bloody murder supervisor was saying to lift it it was pivoting on her hand when they were trying to lift it it was getting worse she was screaming louder no one knew what to do they said stop i ran in there i was really at one of the strongest times of my life in my mid to late 20s, uh, feeling indestructible, but I knew I had to help this girl. I got down, grabbed the frame, tried to have as good as posture as I could, uh, and, and lifted, lifted the frame, deadlifted the frame just enough to get off her hand, saved her hand, and did damage to my back that I would have no idea I'd done until way later. So I wrecked my back really bad from that and another incident carrying some steel plates really wrecked it and I didn't know how bad because I was so strong then and my muscle structure was keeping me relatively upright and helping a bit and it's fallen apart a lot and I mean it's bad. I, I can't engage my lower core. I got really sensitivity from the belly button down. Uh, like when I was sick and I had a stomach flu I couldn't throw up and when I tried to throw up my back would immediately like tighten up and, and it'd feel like someone was waiting behind me with a baseball bat and as soon as I went to go try to throw up it was like they would wind up and just hit me as hard as they could and I mean you so you wouldn't throw up and it'd feel like somebody hit you with a baseball bat right in the vertebrae it was it was horribly bad anyway what I'm getting to is that I will not be arm wrestling next weekend I got a phone call from the surgeon's office a Friday night to say that Monday, <laughs> so tomorrow uh, morning, I'll be going in for back surgery. They're going to put titanium rods in my back, separate the vertebrae, and, and, and you're going to keep it all in a line. Now, they also warn me it's going to cause, this is going to cause added wear and tear to the vertebrae above and below the fuse point. They didn't want to really do it because I'm so young, but I can't live the way I am. I mean, some days it's hard to even stand up. And I do everything I can. I do activities with my kids and you know, train clients and do this and that, and I, and I do everything I can, but uh, it's in a lot of pain, and I do get this taken care of, and I've put it off for a long time, and I was hoping to be able to fix this myself, and I even took courses and did a ton of research, and I got my plank up to like seven and a half, eight minutes, and I've worked really hard at this. Uh, everything I've done is to help make this better, so that's that's where I stand with this. So as much as I like to say, happy Wednesday, everybody, I won't be this week because I will be in the hospital for three to seven days. And I won't be allowed to work for two months after that or train or, yes, that's where I'm at. So it's something that I hope really helps. And as long as the surgery goes good and everything, I should be a lot better and I should be more mobile and I should be able to get a lot more done and not be so brought down and and held down by pain and it slows me down a lot and there's way more I could be getting done in a day and I haven't been 
because pain holds me back. I still do a lot, and I just, I just know that I can do more. I really do. I know I can do a lot more than this, and I will be. I have a lot of goals to hit in the next five years here. So, yeah, I figure a video is the best way to put this up, and that's where I'll be. Uh, you guys keep working hard towards your goals, and if you're making progress and stuff, I'd love to hear about it. And until next Wednesday, uh, you guys take care and uh, sit up straight, protect your backs. <laughs> All right, take care, everybody. See you next week.